Hi there, how you doing? It's Adrian here again from Federation of Master Builders Ireland with another FMB TV bite size bit to help your business grow. Okay, um, this time we're going to have a quick chat about your website again and uh, and the whole purpose of a website. Is it just to be um, to look nice and, and to, to impress them with the nice colours and the nice images and photographs you have? Certainly not. The main purpose of your website is to attract um, your customers to, to learn more about you um, as a business, um, to to be informed and educated about you know, what makes you different from your competition and also to um, to, to learn more about the, the whole buy-in process or the, 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 you know, the process that they should be following to, to buy what it is that they want and to get the best um, solution. So you want to be seen as the expert. So that's, that's one of the jobs of your, of your website is to help you um, be helpful to your potential customer and to, to position you as the expert, okay? The other thing that you want um, your website to do is to um, get your customer, your potential customer, to contact you. And whether that means pick up the phone um, or send you an email or ideally um, to, you know, you have a contact form on the website that they'll put their name and their, at least their name and email address on, if not their name, um, email and phone number, and that allows you to make contact with them again. Now, that's a very important step because um, most business owners just assume that, you know, if the customer wants me, they'll pick up the phone and they'll ring me, okay? Now, you're ignoring the fact that a lot of the searches are done um, out of hours. So, you know, if someone's looking for um, a painter and decorator because they've got a wedding coming up or because they've got, you know, a, a child christening coming up or whatever the reason. Maybe they just want to freshen up the house or they need, uh, they're going to thinking about changing lights in the house and they want an electrician or they need to uh, service a boiler, they want a plumber. It's lots of reasons, but um, don't think that, that, that they're going to be you know, automatically assume that they're going to be searching for you when you're available during the day. Most, a lot of searches, you know, 60% of searches are done in the evening or at night time. And for that reason, many people will not pick up the phone and ring you. They may text you, but it's unlikely. Um, more than likely, what's going to happen is they're going to um, look to fill out a contact form or they may, you know, look for it and get distracted and forget about you. And that is something that you don't want to happen. Ideally, you want a very simple contact form that will take their, you know, their name and number or their name and email address in return for a piece of information that you can send them. So a little guide on what it is you do or um, some other piece of valuable information that they'll want to, to have. And the reason for that is that um, they're giving you their contact information in exchange for that piece of valuable information. Now, um, many business owners think that they're, they're when they're giving away um, some valuable piece of information that they're giving away their secret. So give it all away. If it gets them to give you their contact information, it means that you can follow up with them. And and that's a, a, a video for another day. But um, once you have the, the, the contact information, you can start to, to communicate with them and and follow up because if, if they go on your website and click off without making contact with you, you're, you're gone. You know, you've invested a lot of time and money and energy in, in, in putting up a website and, and promoting your business. If they simply click away quickly, then you've wasted that effort. That's it for now. Um, hope you've um, picked up some valuable nuggets there that'll help you. Have a good day.